What we know is uh, this year the, the RBA will certainly be sidelined. Uh, the, uh, the RBA governor is very concerned about the household debt levels and uh, it looks like interest rates will be on hold for, for 2017 at least anyway. We're not as ambitious as, the, uh, as that hawkish statement. But look, the Aussie is strengthened by over 1% uh, overnight. Uh, we've seen it uh, rise by uh, 4% in the month of June alone. And it's a combination of, of course, a weaker U.S. dollar, but uh, also, um, uh, you know, better better data from from China as well. We're, we've tomorrow we've got Chinese uh, manufacturing PMI data out for June. Uh, our forecast is that they will come in uh, above that uh, 50 level, implying economic ex expansion in China, which also bodes well uh, for the Aussie dollar. On top of that, we've seen iron ore prices rally by 10% just in the past two days. And uh, we've seen that 75.3 US cent level now, which is the 200-day moving average, really come in as firm support on the downside. Looking for a move back up towards 76.8 US now as the first bastion of resistance. And beyond that, 77 and a quarter is our target. And that'll keep a lot of importers in Australia happy who would like to buy US dollars at better levels. I just wanted to go back to this eight interest rate hikes, Tony. I mean. You're saying that's a little bit overly hawkish. In fact, uh, from what you're saying, that's very hawkish. Is it possible at all that tightening could start earlier? Because I guess this is part of the premise of the argument that we are going to see eight moves. Yeah, I, as I said before, Oriel, I guess I'm not as... Um as, as optimistic as that forecast and certainly not as hawkish as that. If we look at current market pricing uh, for the RBA coming, uh, g uh, looking forward, it's, it's less than a 20% chance that we'll see a rate hike by June 2018. I mean, we'd have to wait a year to see uh, the first interest rate hike in Australia and the market currently tells us that there's less than a 20% chance of it happening. So uh, hawkish talk is one thing, but uh, the market fundamentals are saying something different.